my puffins. I'm just doing one of the parts getting ready for the celebration by hanging some Chinese lanterns. Got this one. See the colour? What colour are they? Red, aren't they? Lots of gold on there. Got lots of Chinese symbols. Here's another one. And now, because, well, they were thinking of Chinese New Year from China, of course, because we've been finding out about China. Now, Chinese family will be celebrating Chinese New Year in whichever country they live in. And I got these from Newton Abbott Tesco over the last few years, different designs, look. That means that there will be people near where we live celebrating Chinese New Year. Shall we have a go at making our own lanterns so we can hang them up and you can hang them up in your own house? Now in your packs you'll have a4 red and A4 yellow piece of card, which you'll need. And we need to make these lanterns to hang up so we can make sure we have good luck. And we keep away neon, don't we, the monster. So like they did in the story, and they lit up that house and he, that monster could spot that house because of the light. They use these lanterns, don't they, to make sure they frighten the monster away. So I'm gonna start with my red card. What you need to do is to gently fold it in half, okay? Not so much it's really creased, but just so it is a bit, okay? And then, now this bit here you've got to be careful with, because you won't have any other pieces of card. Watch what I'm gonna do with my scissors. I'm gonna start with a bit of a chunk into the middle and where it's folded this bit's really important is where you're going to cut and you're going to cut a slit all the way along in a straight line and you're going to stop nearish the edge can you see that and then what you do is you do another slit a bit further down up to the same point Okay, make sure you don't cut past that part. And you keep doing that along until you reach the end. So the lantern that we're gonna make, that I'm making at the moment, is gonna be quite thin, but if you prefer yours to be shorter and more width to it, you can always fold the paper that way and do the slots that way. So if you do that bit first, so if you pause the video, do that bit first and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Now, once you've done that part, open it up and then, can you see like it folds in like a card? Keep that bit in the middle and then fold your card round so the ends meet like that. Can you see that? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to staple the ends here. But you could glue that if you've got glue or sellotape it. So I'm going to staple that, I'm going to staple that on there. And then down the other side, I'm going to staple that side as well. So that both ends are now joined together. And can you see that the lantern is starting to take shape? See that? Now what we need next is a bit to hang it with and some decoration at the bottom. So the next job you have is with the yellow card, you need to cut a strip down that side and you need to do it three times, okay? So I'll show you that a bit. So one, two, 
to you might want to draw a ruler line if it helps and then three and then you've got your three strips what you do then is both ends you attach one of the strips to the lantern so I'm going to staple this one on and remember you can glue it or sellotape it and what you do is you wrap that yellow card all the way around and then glue it or staple it at the bottom can you see that and then we do the same the other side Staple it, attach it there, wrap it all the way around, so it's done both ends, can you see that? Yeah. And then the last thing to do is to give it a handle so that you can hang it. So the last strap you need to attach to one end of your lantern at the top. then hook it over like that and attach it to the other side and there we have our own lantern that we can hang up to try and um, celebrate the Chinese New Year if you want to you can use paint or different um, felt tips to draw some of the Chinese symbols on the side if you want to as well I'm going to hang this up with the others. I should put my lantern up as well. Now you can make loads of these if you wanted to put lanterns everywhere. But you've got your own lantern and you've got your name hanging, haven't you? So we've got some decorations going now for our Chinese New Year.